We're here from Jeju, South Korea, and we got something special for you today. We have another million dollar buy, and the blinds are going to be 3,000, 6,000. Absolutely crazy action. My name is Lex Velta. It's alongside me, Randy Nanonokolu. Yeah, this is going to be high stakes action. Like you said, this is a million dollar USD buy in. It's pretty sick that we can be able to give you guys this footage. Um, you guys can thank the Trident Super High Roller series. Yeah, so the players are discussing what the amounts mean. We have a 1 billion won buy in. But you can just take away three zeros and you have the dollar amount, and we have the dollar amount in the bottom for you of the total pods. So everyone's sitting with one million dollars in front of them. We got a pretty lively table. I think uh, we can expect a lot of table chat, don't you think so? Yeah, we should get a lot of table chat. Um, and Shanghai Wang already opening A7 offsuit in the hijack. So when you see 20 million, all you have to do is just think, well, that's 20,000, so take away three zeros. So it's very easy to, uh, to transfer it over. And the good news is that we've actually converted the amount to US dollars in the bottom middle. Is it on me? It is? Yeah, so it's a 3,000 small blind, $6,000 big blind, and the big blind will also anti $6,000. There's 50,000 US dollars already in this pot, and they don't even have that great of a hand. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a raise and a call. So Rui Kao has played a lot of big pots in Montenegro as well. Oh, this huh? gives really good action. Huh? Loves to pull yes, a bluff. Yes, yes, yes. But very scary player to play against. Absolutely fearless. That's what he's known for. But so is Shanghai Wong, and he's going to continue with a $30,000 bet. So Rui Kao calls here top pair, queen kicker. Turn card is a 10. It brings two flush draws, a lot of straight draws. Shanghai Wong, really thinking about it. I guess he's trying to consider moving his opponent off a of hand like pocket sixes, pocket sevens, pocket eights, with the two overs. Yeah, 10 is a pretty good card to bet. It's going to make Shanghai Wong more hands or more draws than it does Rui. So Shanghai is betting again. 72,000 US dollars in the middle. Just has A7 high. <laughs> hey, Rui Cow here. I mean, you got top hair, good kicker against aggressive opponent, multiple straight draws, multiple flush draws. Seems like a mandatory call, which is what he makes. Yeah, Rui Cow has a reputation himself, but so does Shanghai Wong. Chips. No way you could possibly count how much this is obnoxious, yeah. <laughs> so the river card hey, is a there jack. Yeah. yeah, it's fun. One, one million. million, one million, what are the blanks? <laughs> Three, six. Three, six Three, million. Six. Three, six million. Three, million, six million. Yeah, it's like, okay. Ridiculous. Like that's Three million, million, this six is, million. This is like raise a three. You, this is like a three X raise. Look, the raise is like thirty million. Yeah, I'm you know, for I'm me, three Xing. For me, it's probably easier than for you guys because Belarusian currency had also lots of zeros uh, back right. in the days. <laughs> so like, I get used to having a. I don't know, actually, like I didn't yeah. have a millions at the moment when there was lots of zeros, but. <laughs> so I start with a billion, right? Yeah. Oh, wow, so Shanghai Wong. Everyone is a billionaire, finally. <laughs> That's get called. Looking for it for a whole life. First pot of the night, 431,000, right? Wow. Just like this, and then finally become a billionaire. <laughs> you can become a two billionaire. I don't feel the pressure yeah. of the stakes because this doesn't feel like it's real money. Yeah, it's, like, it's monopoly <laughs> money. <laughs> a billion on the table each, starting stack. Come on. This feels like, like a tournament. Billion. I've had a billion. No, I've never had a billion. In a, you've had a billion in a poker tournament. But, it was, but it was like uh, only 
I didn't get to play with a Valdian. Oh, you didn't? Because you won a billion. Because I won a billion. Okay. Yeah, like I, uh, like that's, I, I that's ended. Funny. You ended with exactly a billion? Oh, whatever. Like yeah, just over. I mean, the thousand. Yeah, the, a thousand. I don't know how many runners I got, but like. That's sick. You know, just to make it extreme, we that. should, we should have, we should have had like one player at the tables that, that actually don't know about like the stakes in Hong Kong and actually thinking like it's just a real billion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is rich enough, you know. Elton, 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 yeah. Elton, this is a billion Hong Kong, by the you way. You should be yeah. imagining like it's a real billion Hong Kong. Billion Hong Kong. <laughs> so what is it? Three, six. Six? six? Yeah. So I'm going to make it 20 million. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> is that? 20 so million. I'm getting, getting this right, right? I'm only in 1.5. <laughs> billion. <laughs> And we need uh, we need people to uh, to like bus and stuff, you know. Yeah. So we, have so we can yeah. so we can actually better build a, better building in a hand. Yeah. Isn't it Doctor Evil that does the billion thing? Somebody's gonna be like, I bet a billion. Doctor <laughs> Evil, right? Yeah. Everyone having a good time here, as you can see, and this is only the second hand of the day. <laughs> hello, hello. Uh, nice little fifty million dollar pot there. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I'm not ready to give up a billion. Saying <laughs> flops best. 35 million. I mean, 35 million sounds like a really big bet, so. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. Can't afford it. <laughs> Cannot. Mistake. So second pot to yes, Elton this Singh. Won 50 million on a 20 million, 20 something million. Not bad for one hand. It was cash. Are those Starbucks actually in the casino, or do you need to go out to the uh, like the 240 area? You gotta go up. Yeah. But they'll go get it. So Shanghai Wong opening action up a 6-4 offset here. I think this is a sign of things to come. Actually, it's got a funky yeah. taste. I'll get a Starbucks. Thunder Gun plus one open. opening yeah, there. Uh, is it? Oh. This is the third stuff. hand. Shanghai Wong involved in 66% of the pots. No moves. To be made. I think the atmosphere at the table is very characteristic for the high stakes scene. Even though they're playing for a million dollars, everybody's relaxed, chatty. These guys play a lot together. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of history. A lot of there should be a lot of crazy pots. That's Shanghai Wong, sitting on 783 million, which is 783,000 U.S. dollars. Oh, 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 so this is a deep stack cash game. And I wouldn't be surprised if someone loses a million dollars, they're going to rebuy for another million dollars. Second round, let's get the straddle on. Already talking about straddles. Yeah. Talks about straddle already. Chikowski, one of the most feared no limit holding players in the world. But that goes for a lot of these guys. There's Tan Schwen, Triton Hold'em specialist, playing some no limit hold'em. Sam Greenwood, tournament specialist. Yeah, yeah, good play. Elton saying that's a cash game specialist. So everyone just very, very good, very aggressive. 67,500 in the middle. If anybody lacks anything in experience, they make up for it with aggression. Seen Tan Shuan do some amazing things in Triton tournaments. Yeah, Tan Shuan has the worst hand on a very dry board. It's like some champagne. I would not want to stand next to that, like <laughs> looking down on what's happening. So 
Tanshuan gets one better hand to fold. So these, are the, uh, these are the peasant chips because they don't have the, uh, the individual lock on them. Oh, yeah. That's a quick hundred thousands. The real question is, what do you think the highest number we can get on? On the, on the hundred millions, or, do you, or the lowest, I guess. Ten jackets. Uh, looks like the like player's going to have a good time today. I like how they're using the big blind ante as well in the cash game. Yeah, it just speeds things up. And it just creates more action too. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Tanshuan, A6 of diamonds, going to open this one up. 20,000 US dollars. Ooh, we got champagne. Uh, I think we won a championship game. Shanghai Wong involved again. Done. Queen three suited. Yeah. <laughs> they always do this shit. Buying in the main event is like first level we're testing champagne. <laughs> champagne. I think we never do in normal cash game, but on TV we <laughs> stand there, you know? Yeah. Then for billions, drink champagne. Yeah. Makes sense. Last time it was whiskey. Everybody's drinking that Macallan. Yeah, the whiskey. Yeah. Is that the? Uh, should make a rule, you know. That was that's super high roll. Was that super high roll too? Uh, I know this. They were, we were drinking. The last time we played this was whiskey. Yeah. So like the person winning, let's say, hundred to million plus pot, that's taking a shot of vodka. I know. Can I have a? Oh, green I love how you pick vodka too. What the fucking Belarusian? You've got built-in baby tolerance to that. <laughs> Okay, we can change it to whiskey. Shots fired. Tequila? Bourbon. <laughs> I will pour it. It's not like it's a big deal, like if you're, if you're drinking in one glass or something. Yeah, yeah of course. I'm not going to feel it tomorrow. I will pour it whole, whole couch for Justin, and he won that bottle. And I'm like, you didn't even like, you didn't even drink uh, like that sort of stuff. So like, how, much is, how much was the bottle? I think it was only like 1K or something. It wasn't that much. But like, I mean, what was the, the real uh, valuable trophies from one drop? I heard the bracelet was cost like 300k US or something. Was it? Yeah, and if you're a Milican, you need to pay you, might, you need to pay taxes on it too. I think. Really? What do you mean? Like you taking a bracelet and uh, it's like the same as like taking yeah like 78 million. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I had to say it right. Yeah, I know. I love it's it. Your first re-raise here. Yeah. Oh, Jack I I suited. Yeah, now we can do 78. Yeah. Picks a really good spot. Ten Schwein opening very loose. Yeah. This is too much. Uh, too Five more red. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's totally fine if you're just saying 78, right? Yeah. But you have to say the million. Yeah, how are you not going to say a million? <laughs> I just want to say it, right? <laughs> how do you not say the million? And Xuan thinking about if he can make a play here. This is the first three bet. In the first few hands. Oh, he's going to call here out of position. Just thinks I'm going to outplay Jason Kuhn post flop. He knows if he hits a hand, it's super disguised. Nobody's going to see the five deuce coming. It's very unlikely that you dominate as well. People are going to show up with some pairs though. Flops a gut shot. Yeah, both players flopping a draw. Jason Kuhn with the better one. Any chance you have a dark chop? Forty two thousand US dollars. There's two hundred thousand in the middle. One has jack high, one has five high. Tenchuan might be thinking that if he calls here and his opponent check the turn checks the turn, he might be able to take the pot away from him on a later street. But it's still only five high. He might also be thinking if he hits the four, his opponent has like ace king, he's gonna win a huge pot. Yeah. He's gonna call out of position with five high. Uh -huh. So that's gonna give Jason Kuhn more outs. He hit an 
eight or king to make a straight. It's also a card that is going to be pretty scary for his opponent. Makes a lot of hands that Jason could three bet with stronger. Jason Kuhn reaching for more, more chips. He's no, he, he knows he has a lot of outs. He can get a lot of good hands to fold like 10 jack, queen jack, king queen. 121,000 US dollars. Hmm. There's not too much Tan Schwen can do here now with five high out of position. He's going to feel pretty comfortable. It's also a small chance that he's going to get raised on a board like this. It's a very nice combination. Probably doesn't get raised off his hands. Sean does lay it down. Jason Kuhn chipping up in real money right now. No, I think a gift is different though. Like different. Yeah, are you saying is there's a way to avoid it in the States? I guess. Would be stupid. If you could be just, you know, like, I just know those stories of people winning stuff on like game shows, like uh, non-cash prizes, or like extreme home makeover type shit, and they basically they just get like a mock up makeover that they then you pay like half in taxes on, and they're like, they do, yeah. I'm fucking Fold. Shanghai Wong raising King 5 offsuit, $20,000. Rui Cal involved again. It's not going to go anywhere with the Queen 10. Oh. Top, top pair again. can't blame Shanghai Wong for continuation betting here. Often his opponent, who will defend the big blind wide, will just fold here. And again, it's a pretty safe board for Shanghai Wong to take a stab at it. Lots of hands miss on a board by Queen Six Deuce. A big tournament or like, or like playing a huge cash game or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna see a similar scenario. Shanghai Wong. The brain going. We'll take a free card. And oh. it's a king. <laughs> River's the king. Rui Cal. This actually looks like he's going to do a value blocker bet here. 44,000. Easy call for Shanghai Wong. Eighty-eight thousand to him. He's on city on eight hundred forty-two thousand U.S. dollars. Nice for him to win some back. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Hey. Hey. Come on, man. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Man. Cheers. Man. Huh? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> High stakes, billion action. Champagne. I wanted to get drunk, but I wasn't enjoying it. Then I started enjoying a beer, and then wine, and then whiskey. Yeah, it's but it's, it's never coming with... It's called addiction. <laughs> I don't know, but it's never coming like with the champagne yet. Oh, really? Yeah. Not really. I like it. Other than it gives me the burps, but I like it. I like champagne. Champagne's kind of something I think most people like pretty early on. You know, some players are like, oh, I'm not going to drink alcohol like if I'm playing for such high stakes. Like, the way, how is it, you know, These guys, like guys on the other hand. Like, a lot of them don't even really like, yeah. I feel like, like it's just a just cultural like, thing. Mm -hmm. How much is this? 20 million. Why can Young raising to 20,000? <laughs> Takes it down. <laughs> because there's seven deuce, maybe really I'll go for the medium, but no. Also very good at right and hold them. Uh, 
I was at, um, right before this, I was at a friend's bachelor party, and all the guys just, like, they were, like, drinking choice for the week weekend with beer. And by, like, the morning of day two or whatever, I was like, I'm full, I'm bloated, like, I can't drink anymore. Yeah, yeah. And I just started drinking, like, just, like, meat, like, a basically. And, like, even, like, the morning and stuff, and people were like, whoa, how are you doing that? I'm like, I don't know how you, I don't know how you're still drinking beer. Like, this isn't, yeah. like, a party move. It was, like, a survival move. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Elton Sang, 6-5 offsuit. Good enough for 25,000. Mike and Young on the real hand here. King Queen offsuit. One thing that is nice about this chip set is that they only have three, like they only have three denominations. He's going to make the call. Like tiny chip, giant, middle chip, giant chip. Everyone with so like, like a to, reasonable hand. To, like, fuck up that bad. Yeah, sure. Queen Jack gets out of the way. Ace 10 for 10. I don't think I'm gonna like accidentally put like a blue in the pot, you know, instead of a yellow or vice versa or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the blue ones far away. Just gonna see a three way flop here. Ten Shuan with the best of it. Flop strip sizes. Let's see if Elton's gonna take a stab. Safely gives it up. Wykin's going to check back his middle pair. Oh, nice check from Tan Shuen. Even though the flush draw comes, just knows he's way far ahead. And that gets Elton saying about 42,000. Just six high. Should get Wykin to come along. Yeah, Wykin not checking the flop to fold the turn. And especially from two checks from Tan Shuen, he's going to feel pretty good about this. Tan Shuen, with this check, had just gotten 84,000 extra in the middle. With his, both of his opponents drawing dead. So Tan Shuen here, trying to decide, should he raise? Because there's a bet and call in front of him. And there's a flush draw now. Makes it 130,000. When you're playing against Tan Shuan, you know that he's capable of doing this with a gut shot, with a flush draw. Very aggressive player. Fearless. So Wykin is going to come along here. He saw the flop get checked around, thinks it's less likely. He knows it's less likely he has an ace, so he wants to defend you ever eat some it, strong uh, hands. Vidges in Vancouver, Vidges, the Indian place over in Kitsilano. Mm -hmm. That place is damn good. Indian food place. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Not You're not a fan? I'm not a fan of the Indian food, though. No. I love that place. So River card is a seven. Not the card that Tan Shuen wanted to see because yeah, was he was trying to represent that hand and wanted to bluff as a missed heart uh, draw. Nowhere, really. I, 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 used to leave, I still have a lot of stuff and a few things in Vancouver and then uh, stuff in Vegas. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, so it's like going to reach for some value betting chips. 200,000. Back when online was good, you know, now it's so small. The small and bad. Not scared of the hearts. Bigger and better things. Though. So we're <laughs> half a million in the middle right now. Could have got me out of my house. <laughs> Tan Shuan and Wai Kin Yong have played a lot. Definitely plays into this hand as well. Tan Shuan knows I show up here with bluffs sometimes. I have shown Queen Jack or Jack 10 in the past. I think I can get some value here. It's up to Wyken to figure this out. He cannot be happy that the flush has gotten there. So 
So why can't? Really? How's the uh, how's the game going tonight? Trying to figure out some bluffs. All right. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh yeah. Out in five way all in. Five way all in. Yeah. Top pair no kicker wins with the jack. <laughs> And no, 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 no full house, no. one pair. That's impossible. <laughs> That's it. That's actually impossible. I think. <laughs> no problem. Jack, Jack. Oh, no need that. Jack. I win. Oh, I know. I was, I was calling him another awesome. Jack. I was like, oh, I don't need another Jack. Same car. Same car. Open ender and just break. And just, yeah. I mix the call. Wow. Nice value bet. Seven hundred seven thousand. The biggest pot so far of the day. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Some people people get scared when the flush there, comes. Uh, Tanchwen gets two hundred thousand. Elton probably just had like eighty-five percent or something. Currently the biggest winner. Just, they, they probably all just come with each other's cards and. Oh, we see a lot of table talk right after big pots in the Asian scene. It's really fun to watch. There's a lot of needling, talking about hands, discussing what happened. Great starting hands here for Jason Kuhn. He's going to open it up. Elton saying full, it's Shanghai Wong considering it, it's going to come along. <laughs> so that's Rick Kyle. So action is on Makita Bodziakowski. He's going to make the call. <laughs> Everybody try it. Might it's a tricky. Those purple chips Might are the big well. chips. Two blue. Very tough spot for everybody. <coughs> yeah, but very tough to have aces. So everybody except Wyke and Young and Elton Sang in this pot. I got aces too. I had to lay the trap in the six way pot. Why not? Good trap. So it's ace four four rainbow. Very, very dry board. I see back. Bechakowski with the best right. of it. Three kicker though. There are two flush draws. So wow, multiple players have flush draws, four of them to be exact, and Greenwood has an open and a straight draw. Only Bodziakowski has a pair. I'll leave it up to Rui Kao to start the action. Yeah, Rui Kao is actually drawing dead here. He's got the king high flush draw. Now, Bodziakowski, of course, he's a little bit worried that someone has a better ace, but in case he is behind, he can hit he can hit a straight flush to a spades. So he's just going to call. Jason Kuhn with the jack high flush draw. Tanchwen folded two diamonds. He has a little bit less out. He's going to fold. So Rui Kao drawing dead. River card is an ace. Does slow things down. So many players out there. Chances are just too big that somebody flops an ace and takes takes a free card. Takes things slow a little bit. So 
Wadzikowski's thinking, okay, what would my opponent call me with? What would he put me on? Well, if he's going to call me and think I'm bluffing, he's going to think I have Colorado. spades. Uh, yep. What kinds of hand could call? Probably a four, but a four is a little bit unlikely because it's just a card that people don't play that often. Pocket fives. Not too many hands. So that's why Bozikowski is only betting 65,000 here. He just knows his opponent isn't that strong. Just hoping for some kind of hero call. As I said, there were a lot of draws out there on the turn. Rui Kao just has king high. It's a good He's price. He's going to make the call of king high. Ace. Wow. Lots of draws missed. He figured that Bajakowski is very likely to have a straight draw, a spade or a diamond draw. Really good value bet sizing there from Bajakowski. Is there, nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Uh, king high five. Draw. <laughs> king high five. <laughs> Just laughing at him. I might have heard the word straddle. Long time, no. Yeah, the game is too small. No, I saw that spider. I'm not going to feel this. Like we ain't going up the middle in for one drop. We actually had like. So Tan Shuen here is currently the big winner. He's up 358,000. Y Yong down 355,000. And this is just the start of the action. Yeah, things are going to get bigger, especially if we're going to see straddles. Yeah, the blinds are 3,000, 6,000 with a 6,000 ante. Have some of the most action players in the scene, some of the most fearless. Yeah, the t Chinese players really drive the action. Tan Xuan, Elton Singh, Shanghai Wang, very strong and aggressive. Like, you better be ready to hold on to your seat when they're when they've got the pre-flop progression. They're just willing to barrel barrel you off, and you can't just wait for the nuts because they're gonna run you over. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we, we, we made it one orbit. Made it one orbit <laughs> so yeah, it's the double pop, straddle came on. Wow, so this is a straddle pot. Double straddle by Shanghai Wong. Mean, no <laughs> this 24,000. Double straddle. Four <laughs> deuce offsuit. <laughs> Elton Singh has jacks, which is amazing. <laughs> we have an opening yeah. raise to $54,000. Forty big blind poker is my wheelhouse. This is a double straddle pot. Sam Greenwood makes a really good point. Effectively, people are going to be only forty big blinds deep now on average. So why can opens from the new under the gun? Tanchwin has an eight in his hand. Straddle pots are always the most tempting. Yeah, there's so much debt money out there being put in by hands that can have two random cards. So Elton's saying, always trying to get those straddles going on. He's picked up pocket jacks. This looks super suspicious because it's the first <laughs> straddle pot. He's gonna reach for re-raising chips. 234,000 in the middle. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah. <laughs> Shanghai Wong's like, invested <laughs> 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 24,000. <laughs> He's just laughing. Elton saying. So he wins close to a hundred thousand dollars pre-flop there. Just on a raise and some straddles. Yeah. 
，邊度嚟？馬鈍時間打係嘛？廿尾打，嗱個時候廿二千尾打。已经没打了，没打到英冠。Shanghai Wang here, <laughs> raising to twenty-two thousand. Queen Jack offsuit. 就二十多个人嘛，要多拿。哦，对嘛。Gotcha, guys. You're not gonna play the weak ace. No, cash game. Ten twenty is a perfect hand for some deep stack cash game. Pocket fours. That is straddle or raise? That's a raise. Oh, to 22. Oh, better to ask. I thought it was straddle too. It's definitely a raise. He considered it, but it gets out of the way. I thought it was 12 because of the goofy tip there. So a bad flop for Tan Xuan. Can't like seeing three overcards. Shanghai bets, takes it down, Queen High. As soon as there's been one straddle, it always becomes a thing. People asking each other to straddle, kind of challenging each other to straddle. <laughs> It just takes a couple of people to straddle to get everyone to do it. Yeah. So Rui Kao is going to put on the 12,000 straddle 7-3 offsuit. So Shanghai Wang in the big blind, king nine of clubs. It's pretty strong hands. Yeah, everyone looks pretty weak here. He's in position to Elton Seng's call, and Rui Kao still has two random cards. Shanghai Wan makes it 46,000. Free chips. You know, there's some players where, because it's straddled, they play a little bit tighter because it's a lot more already in the pot. Some players, they play a lot looser just going after it. Straddle can do a lot to a game. Sometimes the game is really tight or it's really locked up. A straddle can really open things up or uh, somebody who's been winning, who's playing a little bit tighter, really gets sucked into some big pots. So it actually helps have a lot of experience in straddle pots, just knowing how your opponents would approach it. Yeah. It's also a good tool to, to unravel some good players because it might be stakes that they've never played before. We'll start about like the third, the fourth. I think it's too easy. It's, it's too early. Like we, we're not. Nobody steamed yet. Nobody was steamed already. Nobody <laughs> steamed yet. No need straddle. I'm like steamed already. <laughs> so Alton's saying, trying to get the straddle on. I think Bazi Kelsey was trying to delay the straddle. Alton's saying, says he's steamed. Calls a seven-five offsuit. Tries to prove his points. Flops the best hand. <laughs> Jason Kuhn up to no good of 10 out of clubs. He was the pre flop raiser. Check calls out of position, just thinks that Elton would just stab way too often. He really wants to represent a weak ace here. Goes check, check. Probably going according to Jason Kuhn's plan. River card is a jack, so there's a lot of overcards. Oh, this is a very advanced play from Jason. He came here to play today. Yeah, this is very smart.
Gonna fire a pot size bet, 90,000. You don't want the rest of the world block you. <laughs> yeah, no. Elton, just fourth it's pair. Gonna, gonna lay it down. Yeah, no, no, a great bluff. Investment. <laughs> also, Jason Kuhn actually made more money by check calling the flop. Because if he just bet the flop, he might actually lose that pot in yeah. some fashion, right? Or Elton you know, might move him off. It's just very played very differently because he check called the flop. It looked like an ace. Yeah. It's very smart. Elton's going to expect him to do this a lot with ace four, ace five. Some high cards on the turn of river that help Jason as well, possibly. Okay, so he did check a hand like jacks or queens. I think there's at least two years I never buy a button before. At least, yeah. Maybe more for me. <laughs> I think I have more too. Never play in the... Uh, never play in the win. Yeah, I play in win, but I never miss nothing. Uh, it's so many, uh. Yeah, you need to miss your big blind too. Yeah, you really need a big blind too. I'm curious, I'm curious. For sure. Shanghai gonna win. open the button Let's here. Try, uh, there's a D-line. Or at least it has a D-line. 32,000. Who's there? Who's left? Power you think it's like that? No, I think we're small, huh? Small. In the corner? Yeah. Pretty small, right? What is it? Yeah, I mean, who is the, who is dealing with? They might, not, they might not be dealing, but it, it looks like they could be. Who is there at least? Both players missed the flop. Yeah. Does Shanghai Wang going to check or bet? Yeah. He's just going to stab. It, uh, it looks like. It, got, it, was a, it was a fine tournament. Yeah. It was a really good tournament, actually. Yeah. At the end, it's, I mean, yeah. it wasn't good at the first day, but like the second day, it was ooh la la. Yeah. Re entry time. Re buy. Nice. And I mean, it's more, not more Levi, but like new entry stuff. Yeah. Tomorrow, the million short deck? That tournament is going to kill me, I guess. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Let's let's see how. Is it. So this guy's a little bit slow at no. Big Blind Antine as well. <laughs> I'll try. Uh, what were you trying try to get it in the box? Uh, in a uh, circle. Yeah. In like flavor of uh, Triton. Oh, oh, Elton yeah, saying yeah. quickly flat calls pocket kings it. laying a trap. Yeah. Very conspicuous while people just are just talking at the table. Get a slow play in. And this is going to get Bozikowski into the pot. Queen Jack. Tan Schwen here, pocket six is probably going to feel pretty good about his hand. Just a board that doesn't hit his opponent too often. He bets 38 million. Elton Singh, sneaky pocket kings. Yeah. Schwen just trying to take the pot right here. Yeah, Elton's thinking, can he raise and try to look like a bluff? He is going to do that. Yeah, I know, but in common, for sure it's... 160,000. Okay, sure. Shanghai Wong's got middle pair. Strong, very slim. Two sixes are out of the deck. He's gonna fold. Elton Sang got a little bit extra. So, so, so I mean, Elton knows his image. He knows that he can get paid off usually because he bluffs a lot. Yeah, we can see Elton show up with a gut shot there. 
have enough tapes, I think. Sound tell la. So small. Elton Sang is really good to have in the game. He talks a lot, he's good for the action. He's very tough to play against, but he, he builds really large pots. Yeah, if you're uncomfortable at these stakes, he's going to lean on you. Yeah. And then by the time you fight back, he's got it. <laughs> Rui Cal, pocket jacks, 80,000. I love how fast Rui Cal plays. <laughs> Talking about Elton Sang's hairstyle. WK. Elton raising again. Shanghai Wong pocket tens. Going to re raise here. He also knows he's got aggressive image and get paid off. <laughs> Elton's gonna come along out of position of King Jack. He knows that Shanghai Wong would play do this with weak hands as well. Elton Sang picks up a straight draw if he can hit a 10, but those two 10s are in Shanghai Wong's hand. Shanghai Wong is still going to continuation bet here. These high boards can get a lot of folds on them as the preflop aggressor. I still avoid being bluffed off on a future streets. So Elton here, going to call out of position with just King High, 45,000. It's already 200,000 in the middle. So that's the three of spades. Gives Elton Sang a jack high flush draw. Shanghai Wong really just doesn't have anything. Doesn't think he's ahead. It's a very real spot for him. Yeah, he's thinking about can he do anything? He's going to check it back. River card is a queen. So Elton Sang with just king jack high. Probably thinks the queen is a good card for him. His opponent might check back a queen on the flop. How much is the percentage? So he's going to reach for but some chips. 110,000. So Shanghai Wong's got the best hand pocket tens. No, okay. oh, he's thinking about it. This would be an incredible call. The flush got there. Holding the two tens, you block straight draws as well. Yeah, good points. It's not the right card to be holding. Because you want to pick off like Jack 10, King 10. Alton has such an aggressive image as well, though. Shanghai Wong, that's 110,000 decisions. He's thinking about pocket tens. Two queens and an ace on board and a flush. Elton Sang just praying for a fold right now. One minute in the tank. Uh, 
Lays it down. Oh, no, so high. Take care. Take care. Coco. Take care. Oh, it's insane predicting that Shanghai Wong had a hand like kings or jacks. Seriously, King holds his hand. What can I mean? Okay, Shanghai Wong's money. <laughs> no. Straddle's saying it's not my money anyway. <laughs> I love it. And Elton's saying, well, we'll always have the needles ready. <laughs> <laughs> but he can take them as well as he dishes them out. It's another straddle here to $12,000. Yeah, so Elton saying, <laughs> Rui Cao and Shanghai Wong have been doing the straddles so far. Jason Kuhn is going to hope for a free flop here. I don't even think Elton Singh's other card is necessarily a good card. Could be like any two cards. Yeah, even if he just looked at the Jack of Diamonds, he's like, well, half of the deck I'll play with this anyway, so. He might also be thinking that my opponent would raise into my straddle because it's just like a big blind. Straddles. <laughs> Good place to be. Yeah. Gotta get big pocket pairs. <laughs> Elton Singh's up 190,000. It's good to straddle. Take care, Sugar. It's not feeling it. Take care. I think that he's saying that he actually had kings. It's kind of funny that he's making it, you know, more pitiful for himself in a way, or yeah, <laughs> make himself look stronger there. Or be more impressive with his fold. That's what people oftentimes do as well. They'll make up a hand because the fold seems more impressive. Queen Jack of Clubs. Actually, it would have been a nice hand to sh have a straddle with. Lotte Kowski folds Jack 10. Tan Schwen, King Queen. He's going to re raise King Queen. Can't blame you. <laughs> Shanghai Wong, Queen Jack of Clubs. Fifty-five thousand to him. It's hard to let go of such a Good looking hand. Yeah, I really can't blame him for wanting to call here. He is going to make the call here. Reevaluate on the flop. Well, that's a good flop for. Her. Shanghai Wong has an open and a straight draw. An eight or a king would make him a straight. Tan Chuen looking for the jack. Chuen gonna feel pretty good about this flop as well. It's definitely a flop that have a lot of possibilities for him. Yeah, he could put some pressure on like little pocket pairs, some ace highs like ace jack. Probably won't continue. That's 77,000 Shanghai Wong. Trying to decide should he raise on the flop or check call. Thinking about raising here. We'll put a lot of pressure on Tan Xuan, who currently has the best hand. Price 
about He's holding 77,000 there. Really thinking about it. Makes the call. It really changes your range a little bit when you think. And Tan Shwen might be thinking, okay, why did he take so long yeah. to make a call here? Now, was he truly debating to raise or was he debating to fold? <coughs> the turn card is a six. It would make eight, seven a straight. Some backdoor diamond potential. <laughs> My return, like 20% max. So Shanghai Wang going to check Tan Xuan here. He's going to be thinking about how long it took for him to call. He just thinks that he's weak. The longer it takes someone to call, you might think he's got like ace nine, you know, eight nine that might not want to peel for such a big bet. This is a near a pot sized bet right now. Yeah, for sure. I think you're absolutely right about that. I think that a lot of Shanghai Wong's flop deliberation has to do with this $200,000 bet. It's a really powerful bet too, because the six is normally not a card you're going to be too pleased about. Yeah. When your opponent tanks, you just think they've got a middle strength hand a lot. Shanghai Wong has 618,000 remaining. He, he calls. Call here. There's six hundred and forty-eight thousand dollars in the middle. Both players of high card. River card is a five. Checks it. Tan Schwen here. He actually has the best hand, but he thinks he's got the worst hand. Shoves that six hundred thousand. Wow. wow, nice. Nice pot. He didn't need to make that river bet, but I can see why he made it. Just thinks his opponent's weak. Yeah, you don't want to lose the pocket fours there, pocket sevens. Yeah, or like an eight, oh. nine, six, seven. Yeah. Well, wow. He really read that absolutely correctly. Yeah, that's great.